All praise and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Rakatha Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakudash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry, this true doctrine. This is just a quick one, brothers and sisters. Just a quick one here. I'm going to show you that Great Millstone teaches the 100% truth. And if you learn the truth, the 100% truth, that truth would set you free. All right? It will set you free. Don't get me wrong. You've got other camps that are not in GMS, but they follow the true doctrine of GMS. The 100% truth. Now I'm going to show you something here. To prove that these Christians, right, of before and of 2020, the year of prophecy, they don't have no 100% truth. For one, because they can't break down the scriptures. And secondly, I'm going to say this very simply, very, very simply, that's going to fly over a lot of people's head. When I used to go to church, I used to carry the Bible, but I never, ever had the Apocrypha attached to their Bible. Okay? So these Christians that you see every day from Jehovah's Witnesses, from all different denominations, Right? They, I know for a fact, they do not carry the Apocrypha with them. Right? I'm not saying that because you carry the, the, Holy, the Holy Bible and the Apocrypha, that means to say that you are sincere. I'm not saying that. But what I'm trying to say to you, that GMS, right? Our head apostle, elder apostle Tahar, come down. They have the truth, the real truth, the 100% doctrine. Just try it out. Just go to any one of those churches one Sunday, because, you know, they, they always go worship on a Sunday, right? Just stand outside and stop 50 church members of that denomination. And ask them if they've got an apocrypha with them. Because what I'm trying to say to you, that the apocrypha was removed from the Bible. And it was more for a reason. Because there's a lot of truth in the apocrypha. There's a lot of prophecies in the apocrypha. All right? And where did we learn it from? From Great Millstone. When I first came to the truth, right, and got a Bible, King James Version, within a week after, I ordered an Apocrypha. And the, the things that's in that book, in those books, they are linked. They are linked, brothers and sisters. But that just flies over a lot of people's head. It sounds simple. Don't get me wrong, you can read the Apocrypha and the Bible and you could still be not following the true doctrine. But what I'm trying to say to you, GMS has the true 100% doctrine. All right? Our elders never take a break. And you know what? You have to follow great men. You have to give double honours to, 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 to great men. That's why I'm saying this is 2020, 2020, the year of prophecy. You have to give double honours to our apostles of great millstone. 
Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle um, Salakia, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Arimlob, and go and go down. Okay? When I came into the truth, I learned from GMS. I don't know about from the time before, like one West time, I don't know about that time, okay? But it started from there. But I'm just speaking from the time I started in the truth. And it flies over lots of people's head. That when you carry the, 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 the Holy Scriptures, which is the, the, the Bible, the King James ver Version, and you have the, the Apocrypha attached to it, and that truth, you get the real truth. And let me bring up let me bring up the scripture here. In John 8 and 30. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Yahushua Mashiach to those Jews which believed on him, ye if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So you're going to get the true word in the, 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 the Holy Scriptures and the Apocrypha. They need each other. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You hear me? So following Great Millstone, they teach you the 100% truth. The true doctrine. And if you know the truth, that truth shall make you free. It's the source, the genuine source. Then they answered him, We are Abraham's seed, and we and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Yahushua Mashak answered them, Verily, very I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. And who is the son? Yahweh Shai. If the son, Yahweh Shai, therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. So hold on now. And where do we get that knowledge from? The son. Who is the son? Who is the son of, Ye of Yahweh? His name is Yahweh Shai. And where do we get that knowledge from? That information from? Where do we get that breakdown from? From Great Millstone. Right? And Great Millstone carry both books. They study, they use both books. The King James Version... All right? And the Apocrypha. All right, some brothers could, you know, add to it. But for a fact, if what I'm trying to say to you, if you see, the, that's why these Christians don't have the truth. And they could never be free. They could never be free in the spirit. Because they do not follow the Holy Scriptures from the Bible correctly and the, crop, the correct breakdown and the, the link that is being removed, which is the Apocrypha. All right? The Apocrypha. Authorized King James Version. All right? So that's all I wanted to bring out in the spirit. It just came up to me in the spirit. A simple thing like that. Every GMS member carries the Apocrypha and the 1611 King James Version. All right? And other books like, you know, um, you know, the other ones, the history, the Bible, I mean, the, the dictionary. And, you know, we know that. But the, for main fact, more known fact, they carry both of these Bibles. All right. And from Timbuktu, yes, we get other information from that. All right. But I'm not going on. All I'm saying that Great Millstone has the real truth, the hundred percent truth. And they stick to their word. And whatever I heard Elder, the elder said from the past four years, they've never changed it till today. They've never changed their doctrine or changed any words. 
Never change anything. The only thing they might change, not change, I've said if anything like prophecies have been more revealed because it's all about the increase. The Most High gives you more increase, more knowledge, more wisdom, more understanding. And that's what the apostles bring out. Other churches don't do that. They're stagnant, these churches. They're dead to this world. They don't know the truth. That's so they will never be set free. Never be set free. All right? So that's all I wanted to bring out. It is a, it is a touch me in the spirit. Go out to one of these churches one Sunday and ask them, have you got the Apocrypha with you? They say, what? A lot of you know what the Apocrypha is. But since I come into this truth, I've had the Apocrypha alongside the King James 1611 Bible. But you know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm talking about. That's why you have to give double honours to our puzzle of great millstone. Give double honours. Alright? I'm blessed to the brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways that learn from our apostles of great millstone. Alright? This is serious business. This is serious business. This is a serious task. This is a serious job. Very serious. So there's nothing to muck around with, to play around with. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back. And we hope and pray that we are chosen. Hope and pray that we are chosen. I'm telling you. Because this is not no fucking around. This is no joke around. This is no joke. Okay? I hope and pray that we are chosen. We don't know where we stand. We don't know where we stand, but we better stop joking around. Stop joking around. Right? Okay, shut up.